Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lourdes and today we have a new hair tool review in store. So today we're going to be reviewing the Beach Waver Pro, the one model, and this is the S. So I'm going to be going into details with you about this little tool that I have here. And I think you guys might like it. it Maybe you've seen their TikToks and their Instagram and stuff like that. This is one of the hair tools that I actually love and enjoy. I use it tons of times when I'm trying to do my hair curly and trying to keep it curly. This is one device I can confide on. So you've seen these in a bunch of different colors like neon colors and stuff like that. I got this one before all this neon colors started coming out, but I can attest that this hair tool is one of the ones that you should be getting. So we're going to be going through this little device completely. I'll be showing you how it works because there's a bit of a mechanism and a learning curve to it. And we are going to actually do like a little bit of a tutorial and I'll be showing you guys how it's all done, how we get the hair curled and basically some tips and tricks that I use personally for my very stubborn straight hair so if you're like me that you have any stubborn straight hair that just will not hold the curl for anything I'll be helping you out giving you tips and if you find this video helpful to you maybe you want to go ahead and give it a like or leave a comment down below on your experiences with the beach waver any kind of model that you may have and if you're interested in this video, I, I've been doing a couple of videos on hair tools, not just the main focus on my channel, which is mostly athleisure and athletic wear hauls and stuff like that. But there are hair tools involved because we all know that, well, I feel like we can all use that one good hair tool that you can trust to get you out the door when you need to look cute when you need to go to an event you have a wedding if you have a if you're just going to church wherever you're going if the holiday season is coming up and a lot of us are going to be full glam and stuff like that and looking cute for the pictures by the christmas tree and thanksgiving and everything so we'll be going through this tool and I'll be showing you how I do mine. So remember, there is a little bit of a learning curve with this guy, and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Also, I just wanted to say, by the time I post this video, by the time you guys see this video, it will have already passed. But if you celebrate it, happy Halloween. Okay, before I go any further, I just want you guys to know, this is my 100% honest opinion as with every video that I put out. I do not have any affiliations with Beach Waver. I have no sponsorships with absolutely anyone. So what I'm telling you, 100% my opinion. I got this device quite some time ago. I would say it's about, it's been about a year and a half. And I can tell you that as I'm looking at it online now, the price for this guy is 229 a year and a half ago 229 i would say if anything it was 149 so inflation it's quite serious <laughs> the one i will be reviewing is the beach waver pro one dual voltage rotating curling iron so nowadays there are tons of options and when i mean tons of options i mean like there's like a light pink one there's a black one there's a there's the ones with the neon colors. There's like a three barrel thing, which I gotta try. I gotta try at least once. Maybe a future video, I don't know. You guys interested in the three barrel thing? I've never tried it. Yeah, there's tons of options now, tons of options. But we are going to be going over the Pro and I believe this one is the one inch. So I feel like one inch is good enough for me. There's also a 1.25 inch, which gives you a little bit of a thicker curl. But the thing with me, I usually go for smaller, tighter curls because they tend to last longer on my very stubborn hair. So one of the tips that I can give you, tip number one, is to use mousse. I know it sounds weird. It's like, what, mousse, are you serious? But I don't use hairspray because then it makes my hair crunchy. I know that there's 
a lot of different options nowadays with hairspray and ones that don't make your hair crunchy but I still don't like it and I still don't trust them so I rather use mousse so with each section that I start on I give it a little bit of drying time you know just leave it alone wait for it to dry a bit and then I go in with always dry hair you always have to have dry hair or if not this thing will burn your hair you will hear it sizzle right on your head so definitely 100 percent recommend for you to do this with dry hair if you don't want to hear your hair burn another thing to keep in mind with this tool is that it has a learning curve you do have to rotate it it's just at the press of a button and it will turn around to whatever direction you're trying to style so I always do my hair with my curls turning outward because I feel like it gives me more volume more of a voluminous curl I know that some people do inward and outward curls I just don't like the look of the curl turning into my face I much prefer the outward look because when I look at my scalp it almost looks like something weird is going on it's, it's just not the kind of curl that I prefer so my curls will always be outward facing so let's go ahead and turn this on and, and just get started but I was gonna show you real quick I don't have the box for this anymore so sorry it is a bit of an older tool but it is the exact same model that is on the site if you look at it here it says beach waver this is the pro one model and it's an s it's also an s i'm not sure if pro one s is the model but one inch barrel and then you have your basic little clip so you will be clipping your hair into the your, your the tip of your hair will be clipping here and all of your hair will go wrapped around this very large barrel which this is one of the things that i love about it is that it is such a long barrel that i don't have to worry whether my hair is short like it is now or as it was before super long all of my hair will wrap around this and i've used it with my hair long i'll try to find a picture to put up somewhere on the screen here so that you guys can see how long my hair was before actually i think my youtube profile picture has my hair super super long just before i cut it and i actually used this curling iron this curling wand rotating iron wand slash whatever it is i used that on that day and yes we were in orlando and it was quite cool but it did last it does last i've noticed that when i use this guy it does last and it just makes everything easier so without further talking because i know you guys just want to see how it's actually done we're gonna get right into the video and then we're gonna do like a little bit of a tutorial with this one all right so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on here and it seems that last time i had it set to 390 that number is going to be difficult for you to see but it is a digital readout so you can increase decrease right now it's up to 385 so it heats up really quick while that heats up i'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit of the description so that you guys know what you see i will link it down in the description box below for you guys so this says it's a 6.5 extended ceramic rod so that's the measurement of the barrel available in one inch or 1.25 ceramic barrel it goes left right and it has the go rotation control which is that main button the heat goes from 310 degrees fahrenheit to 450 and it heats up in 30 seconds it has a 360 degree swivel cord and an auto shut off and you can take it anywhere you want it says it's travel friendly take it abroad 100 to 200 volts it has basically a 4.4 4 out of 5 star reviews based on 44 reviews and no mine is not on there my review is right here for you i will tell you the truth because i will always tell you the truth i have my notes on my phone okay when i type in beach waver i wrote down which way i have to turn it like i said earlier i always like my curls facing away from my face so what i wrote down was like on the left side of my head 
of course you have to look at yourself in the mirror doing the curls on the left side of my head keeping the setting on left clamp over the section of your hair to make them curl away from your face the same thing on the right side clamp under the section and make the curler go right so that all makes sense as soon as we get started the important thing to remember here is that you're going to be using the tips of your hair mostly it's the tips of your hair so i'm going to go ahead and section my hair i want to get started I'm gonna be looking at my mirror to make sure that I'm doing the right thing, okay? So we're gonna start off with this section of hair. It might be a little bit too much, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your section of hair and with my left side, I'm starting on my left side, looking at the mirror, I'm holding my hair on the left side and you're gonna make this guy go to the left. This is the left, this is the right. You hit the go button and it starts to turn. Okay, so as I said on my thing, on my phone here, on my, thing, on my phone, clamp over the section. So I'm gonna clamp over the tip of my hair. So I'm gonna put the barrel over and I'm gonna clamp it right around here. And then I'm just gonna hit go. And it's gone in. All I'm gonna do is hold it here. 10 seconds, maybe 20 if you really wanna push it. And then mind you, remember where you left this thing because if it's behind you, then you might have to fight a little bit. And then you just let it go. And there is a nice, cute little curl. If you want it even more curled, as in the tip, you saw where I clipped it, you can clip it a little bit lower and you'll get more curl, even more curl. If you want, if your hair is longer and you want it more beach waving looking, as in like the tips being long and straighter, clip it higher. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So say I wanted it more beach looking. I'm gonna clip it all the way up here. Hit go. You don't have to worry about anything. Just take it as far up as you want to, to your skull. Make sure it doesn't touch your skull. Make sure it doesn't burn you, because it can. But basically this is all you have to do. You just hold it there. Quick and easy, I swear. Whoever came up with this idea is a genius. <laughs> okay, let go. And we have a longer, see my hair is not that long. That's why you're not seeing the tips be so straight. It still has like a bit of a curl. So yeah, it still has a little bit of a curl because my hair is shorter. But if your hair is long, the higher you clip it, basically the more beach wave-ish it's gonna get. So, we've already got a couple of nice little curls here. Let's keep going. Also, if you have it, if you just picked it up and it's totally in the wrong direction, instead of you having to twist your whole wrist around or whatever, you hit the go button until it's right there in front of you and it even makes it easier for you. So if you wanted a more super, super curl, holding it right on the tip, you see? There's barely any hair there. And yes, we're gonna start. And since it's such a small section, I'm just gonna release it soon. And there you go. That's, that's a really nice little curl right there. Okay. 
Let's do this little leftover section. Any little leftovers. See what I mean? We're putting the barrel under and getting the clip over. Hit the go button. If you don't trust it yet, you can go little by little. It is something that you do have to be careful with because you can seriously burn yourself if you're not careful. See, I hold it with both hands. Anything that has heat, I don't trust. <laughs> okay, there you go. And this is what we have so far. Beach waves, guys. I'm gonna bring it to the middle again. And I'm going over. And I clip that much, so this little bit is out. And I'm gonna hit go. Until I get it where I want it, that's fine. You can bring it in a little bit more. And always make sure you know what this thing is. So keep your eyes on your mirror. My mirror is over here. That's why you might see me look this way sometimes. But now we're gonna go ahead and let go. There it is. This is at 390 right now. I'm doing 390. And 390 isn't even necessary for me. With just, I would say, 360 is good enough for me it's even better when you have <laughs> it's even better when you have some mousse on your hair because it will really stay burn the tip of my ear <laughs> You always gotta be careful. Mm. And there you go. Nice and bouncy, curly, cute. Mm. Ah. See, you gotta be careful. Things like these can happen. I hope I'm not scaring you guys with all these accidents that I'm having. <laughs> but you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be mindful of what you're doing. The thing is that I'm trying to concentrate on myself in the mirror and myself via camera. So usually all these accidents, <laughs> they don't happen. I almost dropped it. <laughs> See it? Nice tight little curl. If you want them, thicker than this i really recommend you go with the 1.25 but for me this is fine if i would have gotten the 1.25 that would have been fine too because 0.25 really it's not so bad this one just makes it small and really tight really tight little curls I will say the wand is comfortable because since it's such a thick portion down here, it is very comfortable to hold and it doesn't get hot. I mean, you feel the heat coming off of the barrel, but you don't feel this part getting so hot. So that's definitely a plus. You don't have to worry about your hand overheating. Okay, that last curl was this one. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot to touch. I had to separate these two because there's a bit of a portion here where there's like a layer, a little bit of layers here. So I'll have this smaller layer curl on its own than this one. Okay. 
I literally felt the heat on that one. Whew. Okay. That's how that one looks. See how it has those spiky ends. Still curled. But. And let's do this last portion here. There you go. And that is the entire left side right there. So now I'll change it over to right. Right there. See how it's lit up? That was now dim off. This one's on. So now it's going to be going to the right. Okay. So. What I usually do is I don't usually touch my curls because I want them to last as long as possible. So when I'm done with all of my hair, I'll just brush it out with my fingers and that's it. Because for me, curls are hard for them to stay on my hair. So I just try not to touch them as much as possible. Let's go on to the right side. Who here is team straight hair and who here is team curly hair i don't know i feel like i'm both i can do either or all right welcome to the right side and then just to go over my notes again so the same thing we're doing the same thing only this time we're clamping under our hair and making the curler go to the right so if you were to do alternating if you want to start with your hair turning away from your face, you do it how I do it. If you alternate, then you have to make the machine click on the left and then your next section, you would make it go into your face. All right, so under. So before we were going over like this and clamping. So now we're going under and clamping. So here, Grab the hair, you clamp it. It's hard to do with just the camera. Clamp the hair and you hit the magic go button. Just be careful how close you take it to your head. We left a little bit out here, but that's fine. And we left the hair out here too with us. So it's all good. And I feel like that's good enough. Okay, you hit the clamp slowly, let it slide out. And that's how it looks. It's not that curled because I left a little bit more out. Also, this was kind of like a giant section. <laughs> okay, hair, clamp, under and in. There you go. This one came out a little bit crimped here. Just a little crimped. Not sure what happened there. You also don't have to hold it in any strange positions. You just, you hold it up. It's, it's pretty simple. I mean, the learning curve is just remembering which way to go, especially when you want to alternate. I don't alternate. I keep it all going away from my face. But if you'd like to alternate, even when you start, it's pretty simple. There you go, nice little curl. I feel like some of these tools sometimes are like way too complicated. So a while ago I had 
seen um, a device. Wow. So a while ago, I had actually seen a device. I think it was called the Time. It was like T Y M E, like hair straightener slash curler. It's not really a straightener. It's a curler. And I tell you, I spent two hundred dollars on that thing, and it was the biggest waste of money and time. Time. <laughs> So ironic. But it was it was just they're like, oh there's a learning curve and you have to go online and do a tutorial with one of our experts and it was like you had to use the device. It was like a straightener but it had like a, a bit of a bend. So imagine a hair straightener with a bend and then you would have to put it on your hair. Right, like clip it on your hair and then turn it to the point where your wrist is like this proportion and then you'd have to take it all the way to the front of the mirror or something like that. I was like, what in the world is this? If you just want to curl your hair with a strainer, you can do that. It's, it's a piece of cake. I don't usually do it because it's not... For me, it's not the best technique. Personally, I it doesn't really stick to me. The curler does. The curler does for me. Some of these devices, they tell you, oh, there's a learning curve. With this one, it's so simple. I've never used a tool that was like so because when you look at it for the first time it's like kind of like gimmicky you're like is this really gonna work like what if this thing gets stuck or something there's it it can't get stuck there's no way because you have all the control in the world with this clamp right here as soon as you hit that you just pull out let go and there's your hair there's no fail there's no mistake there the only thing that can get ha the, the only thing that can happen is you might get this too close to your ear like I did before or maybe the hair is like really hot and even the hair will burn your ear or your neck or something. But all of that is part of the normal process of doing your hair. One thing you should do when this goes inward like this, like it does, I say inward because when it starts turning, try to make sure this little piece of hair is still sticking out because if it gets caught under the rest of the hair that's on the barrel, I think that's where it might get crimped. Like one of my first hairs in the back was crimped. I think that's what might have happened, that it got stuck under some of the other hair. And so instead of doing one direction and ended up doing one direction and a bit of a crimp into the other direction. Also, you don't have to do such small sections like I do. I'm just used to doing it this way so that I can maximize the curl as much as possible. I feel like if I get bigger, chunkier pieces, usually they fall out quicker because it's just a lot of hair for this device to distribute all that heat evenly. Although it does do a, good, a pretty good job. This is ceramic, which is a step down to, I believe, uh, what's it called, titanium. I know that titanium is better at conducting heat, I believe, and then there's even graphene. Is it graphene or graphite? I'm not sure. I think it's graphene. Oh, graphite, I'm not sure. But yeah, those are really good, strong heat conductors. But I'm, to be honest with you, I'm very impressed with this one, even though it's ceramic. It's a ceramic hair curler. I'm still pretty impressed with it.
some loose hairs over here that I didn't get. Okay. All right, guys. So, Beach Waver did his job, and now I'm just gonna shake him out. Let's do the side. Hair is so curly and tight, like, look at that. It's got a nice shine to it. Just love it. I just love it. I just love it. It does such a good job. There's one curl here that has not. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm gonna get as close as I possibly can so you guys can see these curls. Look at that. The left side came out a little bit more tight than the right. I feel like the right side, I might need to tweak the technique a little bit. Maybe just be a little bit more careful clipping. But for the most part, I'll show it to you how it looks on the right. You guys see that? Let's get more hair here. That's how it looks. This is where you come in with the hairspray, right? <laughs> and then this is how it looks on the left side. Holding on to my sofa here. That's how it looks. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. How long did that take? Barely any time at all. I feel like I looked at the clock and it was 7.15. Now it's 7.43. Piece of cake, super fast. I mean, I don't have a lot of hair. I do have very thin hair, so I'm kind of careful what I do to it. Most of the time, I just dry it, and that's it. Sometimes I dry it and I curl it with my air wrap, my Dyson air wrap. And then if I want like a really prolonged beach wave kind of curl, this is what I use, or I use my Bioionic which is just the wand there's no i did not buy the because they have a rotating one too but i did not buy the rotating one because i already have this one and i'm very happy with this one so and that's it hold on the button we turn it off it's off now guys i know that this is an expensive product right now it is an investment just like any other device but i recommend this one I honestly, I can't even think of any cons for me to say. They do come in two sizes, like I said before, one inch and 1.25 inches. Maybe in the future they make 1.50 for, for those of you who have a lot of volume, require a lot of volume. However, I feel like this was great. It's good enough for me. It does have an auto shut off. It's been wrecked a little bit. Can you see? Yeah, I've kind of dropped it a couple of times and it's resilient. I mean, it still works, it's still functioning. It's a great tool. The swivel cord makes it super easy for you to use. You don't have to worry about fighting the cord. This is a super easy thing. This little part back here is a little built-in stand. So you can put it on your surface 
like that. And it's, it's very, very easy to use. I know, like I said earlier, I know it's an investment, but I definitely recommend this tool, especially now. You might want to keep your eyes peeled. I, I don't, like I always say, I don't have any extra information or anything like that, but it's just common sense that Black Friday is coming around. So maybe watch their website to see if they have any sales. They also sell this, I believe in Sephora and Ulta. And maybe you can find it on Amazon. So just keep your eyes peeled for it if it's something that you might want. The first, I've never actually seen it being used except for one time I was watching YouTube and I saw a YouTuber use it and she wasn't even talking about this device. She was just doing her hair, curling her hair to give her hair texture to show how she does, I think it was a Dutch braid or something like that and she was using this device to give texture to her hair because her hair is similar to mine straight and thin stubbornly straight and she was curling it and she started using this device and i started to zoom in to see what she was using because she hadn't talked about it and then i saw that it was the beach waver and when i went online i saw that it was this one and i was like I need to have it. I need to have it because it looks so simple the way she was using it. And ever since then, I've had it. I am a little bit biased, I guess, when it comes to this one because I've been using it for years now and it has just done such a good job. But like I said, I have no affiliations with them, no sponsorships. So that's basically it. This is my honest review. If you like this little device, I'll have it linked down to their actual website, to the Beach Waver website, where you can take a look at it there. But if you want to watch for it anywhere else, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled, especially now that Black Friday is coming, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they might have some sales for you guys. This will make a great Christmas gift for somebody. Just saying. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I have at least two more hair tool videos. And if you want to see more of these, please go ahead and comment down below whatever you want to say. And if you just want to say hi, drop a comment down below. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.